Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farm Manager 2018. We have got all of our poultry farms up and running, our poultry pens up and running. We've got sheep and goats, we've got cows, we've got pigs, we've got rabbits. We've got all of the animals now on the map. We've got a big cherry orchard, which is... Oh, they're harvesting. They're actually harvesting the cherry orchard right now as we speak. They are busy harvesting the cherry orchard. Uh, I forgot about that. You know, I honestly did. I completely forgot. So we got 15 tons of cherries over there already. We've got cucumbers coming out of our ears already. Uh, they're busy harvesting those over there. Um, pumpkins, 8 days left, 5 days and 23 days. So we've got several things sort of coming up fairly rapidly. I'm just going to go into here and we're going to go to our tomatoes. And then we're going to go to here and we're going to go to our tomatoes. And get that one going. Right. Um, so we're going to need to get cherries being frozen. We want frozen cherries. That is going to be added to the list of things that must be done. Uh, with no raspberries at the moment. Raspberries have now all been used up or sold or one or the other. I can't remember which. Uh, probably just used up. I'm not actually sure. I know that we sell anything over five tons when it comes to the raspberries. So we've got a load of cherries over there. And we're also going to be using cherries in here. So we can pop that one going. And that means... Oh, apples. We have a shortage of apples at the moment. We will order in some apples. We do have a very small apple orchard over here. That's got 24 days left on it. Um, but no, I'm going to buy in just a few. Not very many, though. Only, only like a, a small, small quantity. Let's buy... I don't want apple trees, I want apples. Where are they? Apples, apples, apples. Come on, there we go. Right, how do you like them apples? And I'm going to buy in 5,000 apples. I got 439 in storage, so I'll buy in 5,000 of those. That is 11,624. There we go. Uh, we've got 22 tomatoes have been harvested. Excellent. And our fields up here, they are doing wonderful. Soil moisture is fine on those. That one's going to be ready to harvest any second. And then we've got 26 days. That's got 19. And that one's got 15. Right. That is now ready to harvest. Okay, so we'll get this one going first. I'll go to machines like that. And then we've got the Rodon Combine with a 9-meter Corn Reaper, Alice Robson. And then we've got a tractor and a box trailer. Right, so they can go up there and they can start harvesting that one. Then I've got some tomatoes over here. Autofill, except we've got a load of people over here who are picking cherries by the look of it. So let's go and have a look at them, because we haven't actually seen cherries being picked yet, have we? This is one thing that we have not yet seen, and here we go. They're all busy picking, and they're doing a wonderful job as well. Look at, look at them. Busy little bees. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Um, although, I'm curious how they're reaching the cherries at the top. So there is our cherry harvest, well underway. I'm, I'm also quite curious to see how many cherries we're going to end up with. Um, I suspect we could end up with quite a lot, because we do have a very big field there. So they might they might take a while. We've got cucumbers over here being picked, and we know that cucumbers can take quite a long time to pick and get processed. I've got over here, this field, we've got a little bit of straw here, so I'm going to um, set some people doing some baling on there. And I'll do the same on that field. We'll set them baling that one. And then this field over here, they're busy harvesting that one and they're almost finished. Now, the uh, one other thing that I wanted to do was I wanted to demolish some of these sheds and turn them round or move them. And after a bit of thought, I was going to demolish those five and then move these back by one road width and then rebuild them again. So I know that that is a prohibi prohibitively expensive thing to do, um, but I still think it would be worth it. Now this one here, I need to sow some sorghum seed by 1st of the 12th in order to benefit from that one. How much do I get? 9,200. It's barely worth me bothering and that one is creator field. So I might do the creator field, I'm not quite sure yet. Let's go there and autofill that one. They can go. Um, you know, I'm thinking that we should just speed things along a little bit. So let's speed this up a bit. Get this going. Now, I'm honestly, I've reached the point where I'm not sure 
how much longer you think I should be playing this game. Um, we've sort of, I've, I've built all of these huge, great big things. We've got these big stores here. That one's full. That one's filling up rapidly. Uh, right, we're going to have to build some more of those stores. It's going to be one thing that we're going to need to do. Uh, I, I don't really know how much longer you think I should be playing this game for. Uh, or at least how much longer before I take a break. Um, as we've sort of built everything that there is to build at the moment, I'm thinking that maybe I, you know, we got this week. Maybe I'll run it for another week. Um, just so that we've got like the big farm running and we've got everything on here. Because we've now got everything here. Everything is up and running. Um, and then after another week, maybe take a break from it for a while. We got 11 tons of cherries harvested there. Yeah, we could then take a break from it for a while. I'm not sure how long we'd take a break for. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that if we were to take a break for a while, it would give us a chance to go and have a look at another farming game. Because, you know, this isn't the only farming game out there besides Farming Simulator. Um, I know that a lot of you are really, really enjoying... Um, Farmer's Dynasty when I was playing that one and there's been quite a number of updates to that game now as far as I know they've even got hired help in that game now which is the one thing that was holding me back from wanting to go back and play the game again anyway and now they've gone and added it in so I don't really have an excuse not to go and play that game I think it could be a lot of fun uh, let's have a look here we're lagging a little bit we've got one tractor driver gonna need to go on there but that's it Okay, except they can go in and they can go and pick that one. Um, uh, but I don't have the people to go and pick this greenhouse. Oh, yes, I do. I've got two more people have become available. There, yeah, we'll let them go in. And then I go to you. Ooh, this one is now ready to harvest. So we can go into here and I can go to machines and I can auto fill. And I can have the Xena Combine going on that one. That is the 5 meter. That's fine. We put the Xena Combine going in there. And then we want to come over to this one here. We're going to go with... Yep, we've got a few people there to do that. And then I've got another greenhouse here. And we've got two more tractor drivers. No, I'm not using up my tractor drivers. I'm just going to hold fire. Just hang fire. Just to... oh, I could get another load of seasonal employees. I could just do that. So let's have a little scroll down through here. I don't really need to worry. Ooh, he's, he's double five of five. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to worry about getting the the, um, the extra five of fives at the moment. We're just going to go with some seasonal employees here just to help things along a bit. Um, we'll only go through once because we only need just like a few to top up another greenhouse or two. And then the rest of it we'll worry about later on. So there's one person going. We've already got... Oh. Ah, right. El Problemo. The pumpkins are ready. Right, that is going to present a little bit of a problem. I'm going to need to get all the seasonal employees I can in order to do that. So I go there and fill that one. Like that. But yeah, I'm, I am going to need a lot more seasonal employees if I'm going to do this. The cucumbers, they're coming along. Yeah, they are actually being picked at the moment. We've got this... Actually, this shed now, this warehouse here is now almost completely full. So it might be time to just sell a few of the cucumbers so that I don't have them being put somewhere else. Uh, let's go into the market there a minute and we can go to sell as soon as it'll let us. Um, so yeah, I'd like your comments in the comment section down below. Do you think I should stay playing this game for a while longer yet? Or do you think I should uh, be moving on after the end of next week? Which is kind of what I'm thinking of doing at the moment. Um... If I move on, top of the list for games for me to go and play is currently... Hang on, what have we got there? 17th of the 9th. So we've got a little while before we need to worry about those. Um, yeah, top of the list is to go back to playing some more um, uh, Farmer's Dynasty. Farmer's Dynasty is a game that I quite enjoyed when I was able to play it. I haven't always been able to play it. But uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely one that I quite enjoyed. Now... Why are you slowing down? Ah, we've put, um... I just dumped a load... They've dumped a load more cucumbers in there. So now I should be able to sell. I wonder, I was just waiting for those to come through. Um, so yeah, we can carry on with Farmer's Dynasty. See what updates there's been. I'm really looking forward to seeing how the hired help works in the field. So we get a half a million there for selling some cucumbers. It's amazing just how much money we make from cucumbers in this game. It really is. It never ceases to amaze me just how much... 
cucumbers can be worth. Have we picked all... Yeah, well, the cherries are all done, aren't they? That's harvested. That's done. It's finished. There's nothing else happening in that one. That one's got 15 days left. That one's... Oh, that one's got a while. That one's going to be a little while before that's done. So these two over here, I think we could actually put these going. I, I can set that one to be cultivated. Yes. And fill that with people. And then do the same over here. Yes. And I'm hoping... Like that. I'm hoping that that is going to stop... Uh, it's going to allow the bees some more um, coals or honey that they can come in. Because the plowing shouldn't change. It should just be the cultivating. And then I can plant it again. At least in theory. This one here is about halfway done. So... I think in order to make this move along smartly and get those pumpkins being picked, I'm going to need... Well, how long have I got before these are ready? Nine days is the earliest. Yeah, or six days for the ride. Um, yeah, I think I need to get some more employees here. So let me go through and get as many more seasonal employees as I can. We've currently got 100 and, uh, 150 out of 100. Oh, I only got room for another 18. Right, well, let's get 18 more employees here. Right, that is all of the seasonal employees that I am able to take on. So hopefully we've got enough now that we can also fill that with just seasonal employees. Let's have a look down through. Okay, not even close. Not even close to enough to do that. So we'll have to wait until the strawberries are picked. And then hopefully we will have enough. So let's just speed things along a little bit. Um, that one there is actually now done. Hmm. I might just wait. I'm going to wait until the strawberries are finished, and then I can get the pumpkins being picked, and then we can see about doing some of these others. So if I prioritize the pumpkins, um, yeah, prioritize the pumpkins, and then once those are done, then I can start to worry about some of these others, because I think those will supply honey through half of autumn as well. It's, it's not going to be as good a yield, I don't think, through the autumn, but I do think that they will produce quite a bit. Now, these employees over here, I don't know why they can't just work from that side. Why can't the tractor park there and unload straight into there? It would make life a little bit easier. I have been told that I need to do this without the tractor, and then it would just be a lot quicker, so I'm just wondering whether I should do that for the pumpkins. If we, do, if we did this with the pumpkins, just have people picking and don't have the tractor involved, it might speed things up a little bit. I don't know if it makes a difference to the number of people that are required, though. Um, although pumpkins never seem to be an issue. We don't really seem to have... I, I don't remember there being much in the way of a problem with the pumpkins needing, like, loads of extra people. Now, I've got more ones that are ready over here. We'll get the greenhouses going. They, they can be kept running. Uh, so there's another one there. Fill that one. And another one there. And we get that one filled. Excellent. And then one there as well. Right. So we've got a load of greenhouses underway. And then that is the pumpkins up there. Looks like the strawberries are done. So they're just going home now. As soon as they've unloaded it, we've got these people here. They've got to run along. Actually, they're running all the way around the field. But as soon as they've unloaded into the tractor... They should be... Com yeah, they're coming off the field now. They're all running back to their houses over here. They're not coming off the list, though. They're, not, they're still not um, becoming available just yet. Right, I've got a field of rye there that is ready to pick. Uh, ready to harvest, rather. I can use that. I can have the Rodon Combine working on there. So I've got two people working on that one. And then there's one of those should be a greenhouse. Yep. can go into there and accept that one. And then we've still got that field of pumpkins... Now, there is the tractor for those pumpkins. The strawberries are all over here, and the apples are there as well. I'm going to take those strawberries, and I'm going to move them into a different warehouse. I'm going to go warehouse with cooling 2. I'm going to move all of those into there. So I've got all the strawberries in there together. I've got 28,000 kilos, so 28 tons of um, cherries in there. I need to keep an eye on them and I um, so that I don't like accidentally... Uh, do anything bad to them. Right. If I go hand tools on here, and then I auto fill, I got a load of people there with tractors that I don't want being involved. Let me just get rid of that one a minute, and then I'll go back there and I go machines and I auto fill. 
Is it going to put in a load of the track? No. So you have less people doing the job um, if you do it like that, unless I just had a whole load of them become available. Right. Uh, show fungus on the field. I've got oats right there. You've got nine days left. Okay, we'll send a sprayer out. Uh, fungus. I need antifungicide. Um, machines and uh, antifungus right there. Oh, great. Okay, so I don't have enough to do that one just yet. This one here is ready to harvest. I don't have a spare combine at the moment. I got that one busy working. That one up there is busy working as well. And I've only got the two combines. So we're going to have to wait for that. I've got, yeah, field of lupine. Right, there's a greenhouse down there. We can get that one going. Auto fill that one. Right. So that one's underway. I can go over to this field over here and I can plant in here. So, no, I don't want lupine. I can plant some colza in that field. Auto fill that. Yep, there we go. So, we've got five people that are able to go and do that field. And I'm going to do the same with this one. I'm going to choose more colza seed. I don't know if I got enough of buck. Uh, no, I don't have enough of buckwheat. Okay, so we won't do buckwheat. We'll just do. Let me do that. We'll do that. There. Uh, I want to do colza again on that one. So, auto fill that one and accept. So, now that that one's going. Then I can move into this one here and go for bailing and see if I got enough people. Don't really have enough people, but this is like other employees who aren't actually doing anything at all at the moment. So, except they can all go and work in that field and do the bailing. Um, I don't really, I don't know why I'm worrying about the bailing. This, this, it feels like a bit of a waste, really, because it's going to take so long for them to do the bailing that I don't think it's going to make any difference. Right, so I've got two fields that are now ready to combine up here. Have I got the antifungus here? Yeah, yes, I do. I have the antifungus, so I can take that and I can switch that over to number two. Right, you can go spraying on that field. This one here is going to take a while, but this one here hasn't got too much longer to go. It was the lupine that was ready first. Um, before the wheat. So we get the lupine harvested before we start harvesting the wheat. This one isn't got very long to go now. And then once he's done, he can go on to the next bit. Pumpkins are coming along nicely. And then so are the cucumbers. Cucumbers are nearly a third of the way through. Nearly a third of the way through. That's, that's not too bad. Uh, it's not too bad, I don't think. Uh, let's have a look over this way. All right, I've built one of those. I need to build it. I've got to keep them building, but I don't want to build a whole load of them together. Reason being, um, you can actually put them closer together, I have found, if you do it in between buildings. So I can do it like that close there. Uh, but if I was to build... Just to go into there and build another one straight away, I can actually put it there, I think. I can, um, I can just squeeze it up marginally tighter if I wait until it's uh, finished building. Right. The Oh, now we've got ra oh, uh, soil moisture. Soil mo that soil moisture there is not a problem, but soil moisture is a problem on this field. I also need seasonal employees to do this. So let's go like this and we'll see if we've got... A, we haven't even got close to enough people to do that. Um, I got a field of raspberries that I can't currently pick because everybody is busy over here uh, doing other tasks. This is not good. This is not good at all. I need more seasonal employees. Let's let's see if I got. Are, are they all being used at the moment? I need to go there and hire. Uh, seasonal. Oh, 131 out of 168. Right. Let me just pause that a second. I have a whole host of additional employees that I can now take on. So I'm going to just fill all of these um, employment slots a minute. I just need two more now. Just go back into there and deselect permanent. There we go. Two more. And that'll take that up to 168 of 168. There we go. There's a four of five right there. And if I got any fives down here? No, we've got lots and lots of fours. Okay, that is 168 of 168 so we want to go straight away into machines and autofill that right that's a little more like it let's clear out these tractor drivers a minute because i don't want those being wasted in here and it's not ideal that i've got non-seasonal employees in here at all and right well i can take that one and I'm not using any tractor drivers up in here. Tractor drivers are far too valuable, but I can use those. 
So we've got one, two, we've got three people that aren't actually working in here. So let's accept that. They can get to work on there and we can get our raspberry harvest underway. That's a really good thing. We've got a field of apples there that, uh, that are now ready to harvest. Uh, I should have, those are done. That's still being planted. That one is now done. There's a scarecrow in it. Uh, that's being done. Oh, right. Excellent. It's raining. That is really, really good news because it means that we're not going to have to worry too much about... Um, right. So some of the greenhouses are done. Uh, yeah, if it's raining, we're not going to have to worry quite as much about having to do the... Oh, right. I've got a real shortage of seasonal employees. We're going to get... We're going to need another house. We're going to need another... I'm going to build that one right now. Um... Yeah, we, we don't have to worry about uh, soil and moisture value if we've got a load of rain hoofing down out of the sky. Let's put that one over there. Put that one in there. Right, so there is room for another 24 people. Hopefully that will help the situation a bit. It's lagging a little bit, but yeah, it's going to do that. We've got an awful lot of stuff going on on this map all at the same time. Right, that one there was the first one that I needed to go and autofill except right that one's underway that combine there is almost finished so they'll be able to carry on and do the wheat field it's the right yeah that one's fine um and then this big combine here will be able to go on to the oat field after that at least that's what i'm hoping right do we have enough people to fill some of these greenhouse slots we've got one greenhouse slot picking and we don't have enough to fill all of them which is a bit of a shame but I do now have another house for seasonal employees to come and live in. So we can go to here and I can go through and I can pick out another 24 seasonal employees. It's taking its time. It's getting more and more laggy. The more people that I get onto this map, the, the, the laggier it seems to get. Um, which I guess is kind of understandable. But um, yeah, it, it, does, it can get a little bit frustrating at times as well. I know some people do experience some quite serious lag with this. I don't know what it'd be like if I was to dial down the graphic settings. Um, I do have the graphics up as high as they can go. I mean, the, the graphics... I don't think the graphics are going to, like, cause major issues for this game. But I mean, may, maybe they do have a slight effect on it. Who knows? And as far as I know, um, I did see... I, I can't remember I've seen it now, but... Um, Optimizations for the game are always a top priority for this development team and they're always working on ways to just get the optimizations working slightly better so the game runs a little bit better on your computer and uh, the big issue is like when you're presented with a game like this you want to go big don't you it's, it's literally one of those cases where it's go big or go home and Oh, at least it is for me. I, I look at this game and all I want to do is I want um, I want things to go as big as I can possibly get them. Because just, well, it makes it so much more fun. You, you can get so much more out of it. If you can have like this absolutely massive farm, um, it just generally makes it more fun. Right, so that one there, we can start harvesting that one with some machines. And get that one going. And then that one up there, we're going to start bailing on that one with another machine. So that one can go. And then that one's got to wait until that field has finished there. So we can go to, that's the oats. We've got strawberries down here. Autofill, accept. And apples over here. This is one I nearly forgot about. Let's autofill that. Who we got in here? Okay, we've got a whole load of people that can come and do that one. Excellent. They can go in and pick there. So I got this one field left over here and I'm thinking that this one I want to get cultivated up. It's still summer at the moment. So yes, I want to destroy that. Auto fill. Have I got enough people? I do. Yes. Excellent. Right. They can get started on there. I've got colza there so we should be able to get a little bit of colza honey coming in off of that. Um, cucumbers are doing well. We're like nearly halfway on this now. And then pumpkins over here. We're nearly halfway on them as well. Uh, I'm guessing that means that this is nearly full. So let's go and sell all pumpkins and cucumbers a minute. We're back into the market here. Sell. There's a little lettuce. Look at all those people. So the game's having to process an awful lot of stuff. There is, like, there's a huge amount of stuff that is currently being processed. Um, I got strawberries there, which are now out of date. So I'm just going to sell all... I got nine tons of strawberries in storage. I'm actually going to try and sell all strawberries. There's 100,000 for all strawberries. Pumpkins right there. 
gonna sell all of those. There's 430,000 for those. Uh, we've got lots of wheat. We've got some colza in storage. That's good until next year. Um, yeah, we got lot. We got lupine. Right, raspberry cherries are cherries are getting close to expiring now. We've still got 25 tons of cherries. There's not a lot that we can do with them. It's it's a shame that you can't like that there isn't a way to process them to be able to keep them for a bit longer. Um, but there doesn't appear to be any way to do that in the game, and I, I don't really like that. So these here, I got 57 tons of cherries. Uh, all of which are going to expire in the next few days. So I'm just going to sell the ones that we've got left now. Get rid of those. Raspberries over here, 26 of the 9th. They're going to be alright for a little while. Cucumbers. We get rid of all of those. There's another 357,000. Absolute fortune. We are making an absolute fortune on this. And then i got loads of honey down here. Uh, cow's milk, stuff like that, I don't need to worry about. Right, show. Oh, the, the pears. Okay, we will do the antifungal on this one. Antifungus, I'm going to need to buy some in. So we'll, we'll do that first. We go there, we buy that in. And let's go back to our greenhouses and get some more people picking into these. There we go. Autofill, accept. And another one. I'm wondering if I should get rid of a few greenhouses. We, I mean, we do make an absolute fortune out of these greenhouses. And they do keep the... Um, the frozen fruit factory and the juice factory, they keep them running like right through the winter. They're, they're running almost full time. So I suppose it's a good thing really to, to keep them there. Uh, oh, that field is now finished. So I can go to this one and I can autofill and go. Right, that field is underway. The baling is almost done up there. So I can get the baling going in this field down here. And that field is nearly done. It's not done yet. This one here has now been done. That one, actually I should be able to do this now, it should have already turned up. All right, choose antifungus, yes. And then autofill that with some people, go. Right, so you can spray that one there. Then I can come up here, right, the baler is just there. So we can let her park up with the baler and then we can send her out here as soon as she's available. You gotta wait until she parks the tractor up and then she goes and run, oh, I think, now I think that's actually classed as done. I don't think she has to actually get all the way back to the house. There we go. Round press. Get that one going. And then I can come up to that field up there and I can get them to gather in the bales. There we go. Trailer for straw. Right. That's working nicely. What else have I got? I got a greenhouse of tomatoes down here that's ready to pick. And I can do that. And that field there, we've got... Yeah, that one's finished with now. This one here is now ready to plant, so I can plant some buckwheat in there. I didn't actually order any buckwheat seeds, so I just need to buy some of those in. End of summer. I think this is going to be all right. I think we're going to be able to benefit from a double crop on that one, uh, which is not something that I've actually managed to do before. Harvest this one. Machines. Now, can I do this? Do I have enough people? I do. Excellent. Right, strawberries can be harvested. That one, that one's that one's over halfway. I don't know if we're actually going to finish that one before we finish it with this one here. Look at this. They are racing through that field there. They are absolutely racing through this field of cucumbers. I'm, I'm thinking that we may actually get that field of cucumbers picked. Like, in a, in a timely fashion. Just for once. I mean, I am, like, fast-forwarding the game a lot more than I have done previously. Uh, I, I do often have it running on just standard speed instead of um, sped up speed, which you know, that, that could have made a slight difference. Strawberries up here, how are you doing? Um, you're doing fine. I'm going to speed it up even further because I want to keep these things moving long. I'm not going to worry about the animals for a minute. I'm just going to let the, I'm gonna let them go. This field up here. Right, well, they're, they're gathering bales and they're doing the bale press here. So they're racing through this lot. I mean, look at this harvest. And you, you've got to keep in mind that they're doing this in the rain as well. They're, they're doing this actually in the rain, which I think is doubly impressive because uh, it is quite difficult to do a harvest in the rain, especially like make dry bales in the rain. That's, that is particularly difficult. That, that is a skill and a talent that um, very few people have. You go to there and get that next one going like that. Do I have another bale trailer? Yeah, I don't think I do. Right, well, in which case, I'm going to go there. 
And I go to empty space. Uh, do I do I need to? No, I don't think I need. I don't think I do need to. We'll let that. We'll let the bales carry on accumulating up there. I've got the the baling is going to be sent out to that field. Uh, they they can do one field at a time. It should be okay. Right. Uh, show. Where have I got? Oh, that's on the coals a field. I'm going to ignore that. I'm not going to do anything about it. Just going to pretend it's not happening. I'm going to completely ignore it. Let's go back here to the buckwheat now and see if we can get this planted. So I want that one and then I want to auto fill. That is six people. Very, very laggy because I'm running it so fast, but it's still working. It's going. Right. Okay. So buckwheat is underway. And we can come over here to a greenhouse and I can fill that one with three seasonal employees. This one here. How's that one looking? Uh, we've got one tractor driver going in there. That's fine. She can go in there and just pick the one. Uh, I think that'll probably be all right. This field down here is... Uh, they're just waiting, aren't they? This is a harvested crop and they are just waiting and not actually doing anything. Um, that field has been... Oh, no, I've got another field that I've set for baling now, haven't I? Look at the people on here. This is slowing it down so much. It really is. We're getting some serious lag on this. One of your animals escaped from the building. Find it. Okay, that's a new one. Let's let's slow this down. We, we got we got three minutes to find our um, missing cow. I'm just going to go to the bales there a minute and go to that. Right. You're going to go there, Lily. And I've got to find a cow. How do I find a missing cow? Um, I don't think there's like going to be a symbol. I've got to... Have I got to zoom in? Do it like this. Where's this cow? Escaped from the building. Where is it likely to be? I've never had an escaped cow before. I didn't even know it was a thing. Uh, click on that. Right. No, it's. I've, I've just literally. I've got to look around to find this errant cow that is somewhere on this. This map is quite big, you know. This this might not be as easy as you'd think. Where am I going to find a missing cow? Right, well, let's let's think about this logically. How far could the cow have gotten? Well, then, when did they notice it was missing? I mean, I went and I put, uh, with the stockman on a place that I worked, we put the sheep in a field, right? We put them in there last thing at night, and this field was two miles long. And we came back early in the following morning, and there were no sheep in that field, okay? There were none in there at all. The sheep had walked two miles down to the other end of the field, found a tiny little hole, and all 450 sheep had got down onto their bellies, wriggled and kicked and struggled, and gotten through that fence. Every single one of them, single file, had done that, and then they had gone over the hills and far away. They turned up 20 miles away at lunchtime, but there is the cow. I found it 20 miles away at lunchtime, and we put them in there last thing at night. Like I'm talking like 8, 9 o'clock in the evening. Um, it was fairly impressive, the speed that they did that. Uh, so, yeah, the, the cow could have gotten quite a distance. It really could have. It could have gone a very long way, but uh, we found the cow. We found the missing cow. All is well with the world. All is okay. Uh, that one's finished, so I can go over to this one here, and I can go machines and let that one go right so i got those two fields to pick let's um let's pick up the pace a bit let's pick up the pace a bit and we'll see if we get any of these fields done those um strawberries up there they're soon gonna be done don't think we're going to fill this up um oh, i've got more storage oh 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 training 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 don't forget training um go to training here and logistic management, accelerate cargo transport from the city. Let's do that. Get that one going. Strawberries are done. Right, so strawberries are finished. I should have some people are able to come over here now. Problem is, it takes quite a while for the game to register every click. Because I got it moving, I've got it accelerating forward at quite a speed at the moment. It's taking a while for everything to, like, um register with the game itself and yeah that's that's fine it just means that we we gotta be we gotta have a little bit of patience when we're doing our clicks here we can't like rush through it uh that field is ready for harvest there i'm gonna have a lot of greenhouses here that are ready for harvesting but i'm hoping that i've also got enough people here to do all of the jobs it does look like we should have now so 
We've got a greenhouse there. That one can go. Excellent. Those pumpkins are nearly done. We are very nearly almost done on those pumpkins. And that one. There. Get you going. Like that. And then let's go here to Colza on there. I got an uh, anti-insect I need to do on that one. So I'll do that and then auto-fill that one. And you can go and do that field. This one over here. Oh, no, they're planting. Okay, they are actually planting. We're only at the beginning of autumn. So this, I feel that is quite a good thing. It means that we should be able to get... We should be able to benefit from everything that we get. Uh, we, we should be able to benefit from those three fields over there quite nicely the strawberries are done the raspberries have still got 20 days raining at the moment so i'm hoping that's going to like help out the moisture and you know what even though it's raining i'm still going to send someone in there to do that because you know there's a lot of rain there's not the, the rain is slow and th that field is quite like poor there isn't it let's go to you and we go back to you over here autofill you can go and then you Autofill, go, accept. Right, that one's away. Uh, insects. Insects. Oh, that's, that's, that's rabbits ready for breeding. Don't want that. I want this one here. They're, actually, they're working on that field. Okay, so that's the, the insects is going to be taken care of. Bale press is done up there. I can go to this one and machines and fill and go. And then that one there. I can gather the straw there, machines and go. Right. These fields are doing well. I'm curious. If I was to plant one of these fields, if I was to get, like, the old cultivator out and then plant this field, would it hold until the following spring? I mean, we've got this field that's got 45 days left. I don't know. Maybe we'll see with the buckwheat. That might, like, give us a demonstration of um, how things work. Those pumpkins are almost done. I don't think the um, cucumbers are going to be able to finish before we finish this episode. But the pumpkins, we will. We will be able to finish up the pumpkins. We've run out of space in there, so we're having to move them over this way. Uh, that's fine. We don't mind that. And there they are. They're, they're busy just doing that last little tiny bit. All they're doing now is they're waiting for that tractor to come back so that they can unload. The tractor is right there. Oh, no, that's the, the cucumber tractor. Where's, where's my tractor? Where's he gone? Oh, hang on. He might be down here. Yeah, he's, he's gone and parked. A, he, he's seen where all the people were, so he decided to go and park on the opposite side of the field. He's one of those really useful types. One of those really helpful sort of people. You know the ones. Everybody knows people like that. And yeah, he's he's one of those people. Right? I don't like those people. There is no actual reason for him to do that other than he's just being difficult. Right? I don't like you. I don't like people like There's no reason at all to do that. Uh, it didn't come up to tell me how many pumpkins I'd harvested. I'm a little disappointed at that. Right, let's do that, and let's get another one going over here, and fill that one, like that, and I will just, I'm going to go and uh, start harvesting those pumpkins in just a second. Uh, harvesting, I'm going to uh, sell all pumpkins and cucumbers in just a second, and then fill that one, like that. We're going to be moving those um, bird houses, we're going to do that soon, just not quite yet, because we've got other things that we're busy rushing to at the moment. I've got another field up here that should be ready to clear of straw, which would be that one right there. And I can go there. Oh, still using the trailer. The trailer is, I'm guessing, being parked up. Now it should be ready. So there, and machines, fill. Right, there we go. We've got one trailer there. i got this one over here, which is another uh, tomato greenhouse. Get that one going, like that. There. Those cucumbers are coming along very nicely. I could do a little bit more training. So we'll, do, we'll go to training first. And we'll do that one. Slows aware of machines. Fungus occurring. Disease. Insect. Weed. Larger harvest. Uh, faster rabbits. Rate of production. Storage capacity. I like that one. That one's really good. That's going to be another 30 days. Uh, market. Cucumbers are... We're, we're, we're doing well. We... Uh, no, we're not going to have time to finish the cucumbers. Even though I'm going along at absolutely full tilt, we're still not going to have time to finish the cucumbers. Um, I know this, so I'm just going to slow that down a bit so we can go to a slightly more respectable speed. 20th of the 10th, I'm going to sell all the strawberries that we've got. 
Let's get rid of those. We've got 14 tons of strawberries in storage. Pumpkins right there. We've got 232 tons of pumpkins. That's almost a million monies for the pumpkins. That's an insane quantity of money. 26 of the ninth. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to get rid of those raspberries. They need to go. We've only got two tons of them. But uh, yeah, I'm going to sell them all anyway. If it'll let me. Lagged out. Sell. Ah, uh, right. It's it sold them. It's um, it's thinking twice about it. Right. While that one's uh, trying to catch itself up a minute, let's just go over to here and do that one, and then we can go into there and we can do that one, like that, and we can go to that one and we can do that one as well. Right. There's that bit. So then I can go back to the market, and I can go back to the sell thing. And let's have a little look down through here. What do we want? Um, apples. Right, I got 21 tons of apples at the moment. I'm going to leave the apples for a bit because they've got until early next year. Tomatoes, 6 of the 11th. We can leave the tomatoes for a little bit. Um, cucumbers. We'll sell all those. Another 174 tons for another half a million. In storage, zero. Right, so yeah, it's, it's just catching up with what it's doing. Um... We've got seven and a half million monies now, right? That is an insane quantity of money. It is absolutely brilliant. Let's just have a look in the warehouses over here. So we've got all of the different meats coming through. We've got ducks, geese, pigs. It's all running through. They're, they're dealing with everything here. Look at that. That is absolutely fantastic. And they're doing it well. They are doing it well. Um, cow shed there. We've got 37 there. It's 45, 49... 47 right it's it's, it's there are they're sort of keeping on we've got turkeys up there we've got lots of turkeys i got a hundred in each there's 90 there a hundred a hundred hmm the birds are breeding quite fast compared to how quickly they're being taken away and i do think it's to do with the access where we got we're going to be doing all that movement around we'll do that next week so if you've enjoyed this episode then please head down below and give us a like and if you've really enjoyed it then please tell your friends all about me get them to come and watch as well that would be awesome and yes i did almost forget what i was supposed to say then um before somebody else says that i almost forgot um yeah i did i'm i'm, I'm telling you up front i did um so yeah like i said i'm gonna next week we'll just have a little look at redesigning this a little bit to try to make it a bit more efficient uh maybe put in another slaughterhouse as well uh but that's really we don't really have a lot else we can do to like grow ourselves in this game um other than just like expand what we're doing but we're reaching a point where the game can't cope with it anymore we've sort of pushed the limit of what we can do we've got hundreds of people on here but the game's now starting to struggle with it and so i'm thinking this is a good point to like move on and maybe go to a different game and unless some of you have an alternative that i think is a really good idea i'm thinking we'll go to farmer's dynasty because i know there's quite a lot of you that enjoy that game and it'd be quite good to go back and have a look at some of the updates but if you have alternative suggestions i'm always willing to listen i don't at the moment have any plans to be doing more farming simulator instead of uh, alternative farming games I'm going to keep the farming simulator to what it is currently. I will be doing more um, closer to when FS19 comes out. I might even wait until FS19 comes out and then spend a couple of months doing um, episodes of it every single day and before we come back to doing what we're doing at the moment. Anyway, that's, that's all to come in the future. It's not right now. Right now, I've, if you've got alternatives to Farmer's Dynasty, uh, I'd love to hear them. Otherwise, we will start on that in just over a week's time. And until so, yeah, until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.